Hello everyone, my name is Moise Qureshi, Eduardo Rosales, E. Huang, Ben Chaffet. Today we'll be showing off Project Blue Hat, a personnel localization system utilizing Bluetooth low energy devices. Let's have a quick look at our hardware used in Project Blue Hat. First we have our advertisers which are Bluetooth low energy devices that are coin cell powered. Originally we began development using a Nordic Semiconductor Development Kit, but we quickly moved to using the SparkFun NRF52832 breakout board. This new board has a much smaller form factor and can easily be embedded into a hard hat as seen in the image on the left. This advertising device in our hard hats are capable of sending 31 bytes of data per a set interval ranging from 100 milliseconds to 10 seconds. These 31 bytes are broken up as seen here. The important portions are the identifier bytes and custom data bytes. There are a total of 20 identifier bytes where the unique identifier bytes are specific to one blue hat. The custom data bytes of this packet is where we can integrate data from biosensors or accelerometers. Our second piece of hardware is the observer devices, which are Raspberry Pi Zeros. These devices use libraries that are critical dependencies for the program running on them. First, there's BluePi, which allows us to scan for our advertising devices. Then there's AP Scheduler, which allows us to periodically call our advertiser scan methods at a specified interval. Lastly, there is Socket IO Client, which gives us the ability to quickly create a socket connection and send scanned advertiser data to our backend Python Blast server. Now let's look at some important algorithms that we implemented to process received signal strength data sent from observers to our server. The first step in going from received signal strength to distance is Kalman filtering. Here is an example of our calculated distance without first filtering RSSI. This data is extremely noisy and unusable for any sort of distance estimation. Enter the Kalman filter. Through statistical magic, this data is smoothed out using an algorithm that is O of 1 in runtime due to using only basic arithmetic operations and O of 1 in space because the only required value for this one dimensional Kalman filter is the previous RSSI reading. After filtering the RSSI data, we can use the equation seen near the bottom to calculate distance. This equation is based off the freeze transmission equation, where we know the RSSI of advertisers at one meter and the path loss exponent. We calculated this path loss exponent by collecting an enormous amount of data in various environments where RSSI measurements were taken at known distances. Once we have filtered the RSSI data and completed the RSSI to distance conversion, we can now track the location of a hard hat advertiser through trilateration. Using the three smallest distances between three observers and a single advertiser, we can determine the relative location of an advertiser to an observer whose location is known ahead of time with some basic geometry and algebra. Now let's go see our system in action. Hold up. <laughs> what? Hold up. <laughs>